All right, Brother Watch 12 here on a Friday, and it's a it's been a busy Friday for you so far, Daji. Uh, tornado watch until 10 p.m. Yeah, for our southern counties is where we have that tornado watch in effect. If you're in places like Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, as well as uh, excuse me, Jefferson, as well as into Walworth. We are going to be concerned here about the better chance for tornadoes across those southern counties to the north in the Fond du Lac, Sheboygan, uh, as well as into Washington County, Ozaki County. We are not under that tornado watch, but that doesn't mean you should take your alert uh, ears off. We still want you to pay attention to this forecast, and that's because we are still looking at a lot of ingredients coming across our area, and we still have plenty of rain to deal with as well. So that tornado watch, we like to break it down in a fun way, an easy way. A tornado watch is when we have all the ingredients to say make a cupcake. We have the butter, the eggs, the vanilla, but it's not baked yet. Tonight we could see it become baked, and that's where we have the potential to see tornado warnings, which means there is a likelihood for some rotation and that's what we're going to continue to watch out for here on weather watch 12. So let's take a look outside. We're starting to see some of that wet weather roll in to our southern counties as well as some gusty winds with some thunderstorms that have made their way into places like Darien and Delavan. We're sitting at 64 degrees here in Delavan, but as we head a little further to the north into Waukesha, it's only 48 degrees and that's because we've been dealing with a warm front that can't decide where it wants to stay. So we do have some cooler air as you head to the north and places like Waukesha and Milwaukee, as I mentioned, but notice here on the camera getting some of that wet weather finally moving in. It took it a while, but it came in our time frame to that three uh, to four o'clock hour. So what we're seeing right now is some moderate to even heavy rain at times coming across portions of Walworth County, moving to the north and east, even pushing across Union Grove, Yorkville, and you no will notice those raindrops as well into Wheatland. As we take a bigger view here, still a lot of dry spaces on the map. If you're in Port Washington, Hartford, Beaver Dam, not yet looking at that wet weather, but Waukesha, as we saw on our camera there, is starting to see rain and even some thunderstorms. With this does come lightning. I know we had a warm day, but now with this rain and lightning coming in, it's time to head indoors to prevent yourself from any injury as uh, lightning can be very dangerous and deadly. A wider view of this storm system, lots of activity back through Iowa as well as into Illinois and these storms have been producing um, some tornado activity across portions of Iowa as well as into Illinois and even some large hail. So as they continue to move to the north and east, that's going to be our concern. Strong winds, which we're already going to start to notice with these pockets of thunderstorms moving in frequent lightning and the risk for tornadoes and hail that could be pea size to even large larger at times. Our future cast continues to show this pushing to the north and east as we head into the 6, 7 and 8 o'clock hour. By 10 p.m. we should be dry and then we will start to see some clearing for a brief period of time as we head into 1 a.m. As we move into your Saturday morning, that's where we get on the cold side of the system, bringing in a quick hit of snow, some of this mixing at times. So we're getting a little bit of everything within the next 24 hours. Today uh, is an alert day, tomorrow impact day, because the snow comes with some strong winds that can be gusting around 40 miles per hour. A lot mm. to do. Yes, a lot to do. Stay alert, stay with us. All right.